Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn about using keyboard shortcuts with Gmail. So I know a lot of MacMost users use Gmail and the web interface for Gmail is fantastic, especially if you take advantage of keyboard shortcuts. Let's take a look at some of them. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Settings and make sure Keyboard Shortcuts is turned on. You can see it right here. If it's turned off, you won't be able to access any of them. So first take a look and notice that to the left of my conversations I can see this little arrow here. That's the key to using Keyboard Shortcuts. If I use the J and K buttons, J for Next and K for Previous, I can move that arrow between the different conversations. When I find one I want to look at, I use O to open it and jump down into the conversation. And I can also use U to go back up. So I can quickly look through my conversations using J and K, O for down, U for up. Now once I'm in a conversation, like let's go to this one here that has three messages in it, I can navigate around in here using P and N, N for next and P for previous. And you can see the arrow moving between them. I can then use O again to open up one of these and toggle it shut as well with O. And I can use U to go back up. Now I can also use G to navigate between the different mailboxes. For instance, G and then A will jump to all mail. G and D to drafts and G and I to back the inbox. Now what if I want to start a new conversation? I can do that by pressing C start a completely new email message there as well. And then when I'm finished with it I actually can use tab and it will jump and you can see it highlighting send there and then a return would send the email. So I can do it all from the keyboard without using the mouse at all. So one of the most powerful features for Gmail is search and you can jump right to a search box by pressing the slash key and it will take your cursor right there. And then you can type your search. So replying to messages is pretty easy as well. You can select the conversation. I'll go down into this one here with O and then I could go through the different messages. There's only one here and tap R to reply to it and instantly opens up the reply below it. Now you can also archive a message while you're in it. Let me go down into this one and tap E to archive it and jump back up to your inbox. You could also go through here and select various messages like this one by pressing X and this one as well and then tap E and it will archive the ones that are selected. Now that's just the tip of the iceberg. It wouldn't be great if you could see all the keyboard shortcuts very easily and there's a keyboard shortcut for that as well. You just do shift and slash or in other words the question mark on your keyboard and you instantly get this handy list that overlays Gmail and you can look through it all and just tapping anything even shift will dismiss that. So you can quickly look at all the shortcuts and learn new ones and until you know them all. So I hope you found this look at Gmail keyboard shortcuts useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.